Hey guys, it's Molly. Welcome back to another Wednesday, and that means another episode of learning a foreign language. Language is Hebrew. So, last week we did half of the alphabet. This week we're doing the other half. And so, I'm going to remind you what the first half of the alphabet was. I'll read them off from this screen. It's Alphabet, Himmeldal, Hey, Bob, Zein, Tet, Tet, Yurt, Kof, Vanakov, and Lamed. And so we are doing the other half today. So with that being said, let's get into this. First letter is Mem. It makes a M sound. So this is Ma. Simple enough, right? Simple enough start. Where's my napkin eraser? Here it is. Yeah, still don't have a what? Still don't have a dry erase eraser. That's okay. I'll eventually get one. Okay, next letter. I'd like to start this one off by apologizing to my old Hebrew school. Apparently, I didn't learn anything. This is final, Mem. Yeah, it also makes a m sound. So this would be ma. We're gonna go over where the final letters go in words when we go into the special rules about letters. Okay, so with that being said, let us go on to the next letter. This is nun. It makes a n sound. So this is na. Now the way that these letters are spelled in English transliteration is absolutely awful, which is why I don't read that. So, next letter. This is final nun. It also makes a n sound. So this would also be na. Just to get a comparison. Na na. So Yet again, if anything that I am writing or saying is like actually a word, um, please tell me what it means and if it's offensive, I am utterly sorry. I honestly have no idea if any of these are actually words, but sometimes words can be one letter. Which if you think about it, is pretty cool. Anyway, next letter. This is Same. It has a s sound. Now, it looks a lot like Final Mem, right? Except that this side is slanted. Where Final Mem, this side was straight. my horrible illustration, see this side just went straight down well, in the Samech, this side curves. So this would be saw. Pretty cool stuff, right? <laughs> I'm trying to make this like as least boring as possible. I will admit that this is one of the worst. This was one of the worst things about Hebrew school was learning the letters and learning how to write them. Like I'm not even showing you guys how to write them, but because I'm not the best one to teach that. Anyway, let's move on to the next letter. This is I. It's silent. Just like the Aleph. Those two are the only silent letters in the Hebrew alphabet. 
So this would be all. This would just be all. All you do is pronounce the vowel. With that being said, let's move on to the next letter. It's the return of the blue marker, because this is pep. But you remove the dot and it's pe. Now pe has a p sound. Obviously pe has a sound. So this is pa. And this is pa. So far, pretty cool, right? Like, trust me, we're almost done. So, with that being said, let's move on to the next letter. This is final F. It has a F sound also. So this would be papa. Okay, now I know that like the final letter is on the left here, but that's because in Hebrew you read right to left. Which is why every time that I would write the final letter, I would put the non-final letter to the right of it so that it could be read first. Anyway, let's move on to the next letter. This is Sada. This is Sada. It has a t sound. That is a TS. So this is Sa. Sa. Not Sa, but Sa. I know it doesn't sound entirely different, but the tsa sounds like a harder S than just sa. Listen to it carefully. Tsa, sa. It's not easy to hear, and it's not really entirely easy to say the first couple of times, but eventually you get used to it and are able to say it all the time. So, next letter. Final tsa de. It still has the tsa sound. So this would be sa tsa. Now yes, the a ah is now on this side of the final letter, but that's because you write it in the space where available. As long as it's as long as it's underneath some part of the letter, then you're fine. But if it is a final letter, and it's a long final letter, you do want to try to put it on the side where there is room. So now, with that being said, next letter. This is Koop. Now, I know what you're thinking, it looks like a P. But this part and this part are not connected. It makes a kus, a kus sound, which is not a k or a k, but a k sound. Kind of like a q sound without a u next to it. So this is. So this is ko. A Q sound of ko. So ko. Not ka, 
or k, but k. Some of these are a little hard to pronounce, I will admit. Now this one also is a little long, like if I put a nun next to it. Na ko. I really don't know if I'm actually saying anything. I really hope I'm not, because we're not learning words until a, like, few weeks from now. Anyway, let's continue on to the next letter. By the way, kuf is not a final letter. Even though it's long, it is not a final letter. Do not be deceived by that. So anyway, like I said, on to the next letter. We are almost done here. This is Raish. It has an R sound. So, R. So this would be... R. Now what's the difference between this and above? The above doesn't have as long of a line on top. Bara. Continuing on to the next letter now. This is Shin or Sin. It makes a Sh or a Su sound, depending on where you put the dot, or if you put a dot. Now. Am I going to teach you where to put the dot right now? No, because that's going to be in a couple of weeks when I teach the special rules about letters. But know that this is either sha or sa. Okay? Okay. Are we getting this so far? I hope so, because we really only have one letter left. I promise you, it's an easy letter. This is Tav. It makes a T sound. You know, like Tet. So this is Ta. And this is Ta-Ta. Ta-Ta. <laughs> okay, but for real. Now, this looks oddly similar to Chet, doesn't it? Well, they're not the same. Chet, the line comes down straight. Tav, the line curves. Now yes, Tav is supposed to have that little tail thing. They practically all have that. Chata. Why am I only using the A vowel? Because it just makes it a little easier. Now then, if you've been following along, you should be able to recite the Hebrew alphabet. Now, I'm going to go through it with you again, but this time I'll have all of the letters written down. Don't worry, I'm not going to write them in different colors, I'm going to write them all in black. Actually, not black. I'm going to write them all in brown because this is a lot easy. This one is a lot easier to use because it's thinner, so I can fit more of the letters on here. So, let's go through the alphabet. Well, I thought I'd be able to write a lot, but unfortunately, I have big handwriting. Anyway, Aleph, Bet, or Bet, Himmel, Dalit, He, Vav, Zayn, Chet, Tet, Yud, Kaf. Final kuf, lamet mem, final mem, nun, final nun, samach, um, uh, this is ayin, pe, or fe, final fe, sade, final sade, uh, kuf, resh, shin, or sin, and tav. 
So with that being said, that's the entire Hebrew alphabet. Next week, we're going to go over the vowels and place them on words. Now, as promised, I'm going to write a word in Hebrew for you guys. Just as soon as I get this whole board clean. Seriously, guys, show some love and send me an eraser, please. That's it's all I ask for. Can even just be like a stinking one dollar thing, or just something better than a napkin. Because this napkin's already outlived its usefulness. So anyway, here's the word. Shalom. It means hello, goodbye, and peace. Now, as you can see, this is the sh. That is where the dot goes to make it the sh sound. That's a lamid with the o vowel. Like I said, we're gonna get into vowels next week. That is final mem. Shalom. And as always, reading right to left. And so, with that being said, I will see you all tomorrow for the number 5 in the song series. So, see you all tomorrow. Comment, like, subscribe. Check out my links in the description box down below. Bye-bye.